what is going on YouTube so I wanted to do a video that's a little bit different as you guys can see I'm back on street for the cash so I did discontinue my Andrews daily picks but I figured it'd be better just to make an overall video about how to plan how to win streak for the cash now my problem always was on streak for the cash was I was a little trigger happy a little overconfident on some of my picks but I wanted to show you guys just generically how to play first Gen generally how to play first anyway um, as you guys can see here we're looking at tomorrow's picks and there's really no percentage or no percentages up yet which will help you out a lot actually but I wanted to show you guys just basically the start of how to play there's many similar games to this Yahoo Daily Fantasy is one that comes to mind um, I think that's really the only one that comes to mind right now I know CBS Sports has one as well anyway everything that's up right now it looks like hockey and college basketball yeah so I'm just gonna make a simple pick right here and pick the Carolina Hurricanes over the Toronto Maple Leafs now you can see when you're playing you got the overall le leaderboard right over here showing you basically who's got the highest streaks of the year or the longest streaks of the year and then the current highest streaks and the current one is win 24 and also I guess those are the most wins so you obviously can see here how much the current stash is if you do reach I believe it is 40 might be 30 it might be 30 for the month yes streak needed 30 so it's ten thousand dollars if you reach 30 in a row obviously seems a lot easier than it actually is so just make sure when you're making this pick I mean even every day I wouldn't say go through and make a pick obviously make sure you're really confident before you make the pick and one piece of advice I always give is kind of pick away from the crowd because if, if there's a very common pick that everyone is very confident in then if that team loses then everyone misses out and then if you're right on your different pick then you can keep on going with your streak now obviously I have struggled a little bit this year as you guys can see right there but overall I've been a somewhat successful on streak for the cash like I said I was a little bit trigger happy now if I could like I said if I could give any one tip on how to win this it is do your research a little bit before you make your pick if you have a if you kind of have a hunch with your gut that's a little bit different than the actual best picks of the day I would definitely go for it and also like I said it's okay to take a day or two off it's not going to break your streak it'll just keep going into the next like if you've got like a five game win streak and you feel like for the next two days there's no good picks to make then just let it go obviously if there's a pick that's like 99.5 percent to 0.5 percent on one of these games then I would go ahead and go for it ESPN will give you a couple of those gimme is just just for one hoping they might lose or that the 0.5 percent might win or just as a give me every day like I said the gimme picks honestly end up failing quite a bit if I can go back to yesterday this is all of today's picks there's still a few for today as well so let's go ahead and make that pick just so I can show you guys with all the percentages here a few for tennis how many three-pointers will Steph Curry have in the first half that's probably a good one to take those are all the locked ones. Juventus and Lazio. I'm going to take Juventus in that one. So soccer is a pretty... If you know soccer, it's one they do give a lot of gimme picks in. And it, just because they know a lot of domestic people in the U.S. do not follow it. And really just in general, it's one of the better things to pick. Just because if you guys look through a lot of the picks today... A lot of these are simple picks that could be screwed up very easily. So, the Kings against the Lakers, that's probably the second best one I'd say to take today. Now, just to give a couple, or just to give a little bit more background information about how to play Streak for the Cash, obviously, all your information's up here. You really don't get anything for winning 29. You 
win 29, then you lose 30, then or and you lose your 30th, then you're done. Now, if you guys can see here, it says this is just the basic listing. You can only pick one winner a day. Now, that forfeit feature is kind of cool because if you've made a pick that's bad that day and you know it's bad and you've got another you got another match that you're pretty confident in, you can go ahead and forfeit, take the L, and then pick another match for that day. So if I saw Juventus was, if I really thought Juventus was going to lose at the beginning of the game and the Raptors-Celtics game hadn't started yet, then I could go ahead and pick the Raptors over the Celtics and that would take over as my official pick for the day. It's basically like it's basically like giving you an early head start to the next set of picks if you know that you're gonna lose. I think it's a pretty good feature. Obviously don't want to throw the towel too early or throw in the towel too early on some of those. But also you can play with groups. You can start one with a couple of your friends just to see how they're doing have a little competition, you can just go over and see the leaderboards. Just the full set of lists. There's the longest streak currently. As you guys can see, a lot of people... Really the only popular pick was Monaco today. But as you guys can see, a lot of them don't pick one for the current day. They just, you know go with what their they go with what their gut feels and just waits for the next day. And I mean it's not the worst thing to do in the world. Especially when you're at that level of streak. So if you guys want to go back and see all the other winners, you can go back through and see that. There's the insider advice, but that's if you have insider, I don't have that. Uh, you can go back through all see all time leaders, uh, historical wins, all that kind of stuff. And then just go back and make your pick. So I'm not trying to overcomplicate one of the simpler, this is one of the simplest games to play on ESPN. It's a lot of fun, but it, if you get really into it, it can also be pretty stressful. Just because you'll build up like a five or six game streak, and then you'll feel like you have your most confident pick of the week, and then it'll just get destroyed, and then the next few games you might have a bad streak as well. Really when it comes down to a lot of these picks end up being 50-50, I mean obviously that's the way it is when you're picking one or the other, but it is also something that is very stressful, like I said, when you're very confident in your picks. So, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to give my little short spiel into uh, how to play and how to win streak for the cash. It's a game that I've been playing for a little while, and one thing that I've noticed in the past is it's something I'm better at giving advice on than actually picking myself. So, uh, that's what I thought I would do. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. See ya.